A very good afternoon to you and welcome to Lunchtime News here on TV1. I am Shine Dharampati and here's what made headlines this afternoon. Locals of Karwalagas Vava in Putlam left helpless due to the scarcity of water. Shortage of expressway buses leave passengers stranded at the Gol bus depot. US President Trump says he would be honored to meet North Korean leader Kim Jong Un in the right circumstances. Now for those stories in detail. The prevailing dry weather is having a detrimental effect on the people of the Karawalagas River and Navagattegama areas in Putlam. The Thabbova Reservoir is the main reservoir in the Putlam district at a height of 15,000 acre feet. However, in the wake of the dry weather conditions, the water capacity at the reservoir has dropped to 4,000 acre feet. Farmers point out that this has caused a severe water crisis and harmful impact on their cultivations. The water is insufficient for farming. If the tank is dug up and the silt is removed, companies will take the silt. This is all we ask. If this tank is dug deeper, there will be enough water for the next three to four months. This will help the fishermen and the farmers. This is the same water which is supplied to our lines. But we cannot bathe with this water because it smells. In a news first inquiry, District Secretary NHM Chitrananda confirmed that there is a water crisis. He added that those facing the water crisis will be provided with water through Bowser's. An operation to drive away a herd of wild elephants which have strayed into a village in Vavegama in the Suri Vava Divisional Secretariat has entered its fourth day. A herd of wild elephants strayed into an area close to the villages of Vavegama, El Lala, Kudaidiyavava and Boghavava last evening. However, wildlife officials said one elephant, which is claimed to be a threat to the locals in the area, was not among the herd. The operation to capture this wild elephant was launched on the 29th of April by officials of the Hambantota and Udavalave wildlife officers. One person was killed in a wild elephant attack in the Thalgasiaya area in Atimale, Monragala. The incident took place around 5 last evening. The body of the victim has been placed at the Monoragla District Hospital. The victim is a 59-year-old male from the Gangodagama area. In more local news, the carcass of a blue whale has washed ashore on the Kamburugamua coast in Matara. A correspondent said the carcass had beached ashore around 2 this morning. The 68-foot mammal showed signs of several lacerations and body parts were found washed ashore close by. The cause of death is yet to be ascertained. A blaze which erupted in the east of the Alugola mountain in Badula last evening has been doused. While the cause of the blaze is yet unclear, locals suspect that the fire may have been caused by poachers amidst the dry weather. Our correspondent said the blaze had spread close to the underground gunpowder storage facility belonging to the Badulla district secretariat. The blaze was put out with the efforts of the Sri Lanka army, Badulla police and area residents. Making headlines this afternoon, an unexpected crowd of people had arrived at the Gol bus depot this morning to take the Southern Expressway to Colombo following the long weekend. However, passengers were left stranded as there was insufficient buses to accommodate the large crowds. A correspondent said a large number of people were waiting in queues for buses operating to Maharagama and Kaduela from the Gol bus depot. According to our correspondent, steps were taken to deploy additional buses to facilitate the large number of passengers. Passengers said they faced this issue on the first of every week. However, Chairman of the National Transport Commission, MAP Hemachandra, said the Commission was not informed of the situation. 